Uh, what have we done? <laughs> We've doomed it. It's like quicksand. It is, seriously. Oh, uh, just take the whole thing out. I can't. <laughs> What is up everybody, we're here again with another unboxing, and uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm Mike. I'm Skylar, and we're the Unforgivable Geek. And this week I believe we have, you want to show off the box there? Boom! The BAM box. The BAM box, that's right. BAMbox.com, I believe they're, how much am I, how much do you want to price? $25 a month, uh, plus shipping and handling, was it? Yeah, I believe so, $24.99 a month, plus shipping and handling. I will leave a link in the description below so you guys can check that out. And I believe the theme for this month, I do have, every month has a different theme, which I love about this is uh, abilities yeah so it kind of has like the x-men you know all the wolverine's claws and uh, his healing factor and all that uh superman's strength and so on and so forth so really cool to see what's in this box so we'll go ahead and i'll let scholar start to open that up there and then i'll talk a little bit here i like the bam box because they always send you an autographed item and i believe in this one there are boasted as being two autographed items inside here as well as a chance uh, to get a one-up card which is where they take an item out of your box, give you a one-up card, and actually give you a better item in its place. But uh, go ahead and pop it open there. Let's see what we got. Oh, cool. What's this? Oh, right after that, we got the pin. Oh, so we have a new... This is a new thing, I believe. Oh, it's uh, Spider-Man, and it kind of looks like a Charizard from Pokemon. Oh, I'm glad you knew that one. I didn't, but that is really cool. Yeah, this is a new thing that Bam Box is starting. They said they're going to have something new in their boxes. It looks like they're starting the metal pins. It was uh, either a Charizard or a Charmander. I can't yeah, remember. I believe that is the uh, Spider-Man mixed with, like you say, like Skylar said there. What, did you, what was it? Uh, it was either a Charizard or a Charmander. I can't remember. So that is really cool. Yeah. Main theme abilities. The Bam Box exclusive hat pin. Oh, it's a... Uh, yeah. Let me pop this out of here. Oh, this isn't in the box. This is an entirely uh, new, like, extra part on the box. See? Oh, awesome. They got redid their boxes, too. Yeah. That is neat. It makes it a little hard, because then I have to try it sideways to actually be able to yeah, see it. They had a double pin on the back. It's it's black, so I'm not sure how well it'll show up there on the camera. That's a, a double pin, but it's considered a hat pin. That is really cool. In just case the plastic was shiny on there. You can see it. All right. So next up, what we have, and this was separate from everything else in the Let's box, so we have uh, Win This Stanley Signed Iron Spider Mask. It's just a contest entry. Really cool little mask there. I'll have to enter and see if we yes! have a chance. We got a one-up! Alright, we have our first one-up card. Now, we've been getting Bam Box for a while, and this is the first one-up card that we've ever received. So I am really excited about that. You can definitely hear the excitement in Scottish voice as well. We got a Bam Box exclusive... Gold variant Spider-Man pin. Oh, so this is it. Oh, oh. So this is the one up. Okay. Okay, I'm going to look into that. I Maybe they... one up boxes are designed like this. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll have to take a look into that. I'm not sure exactly. I thought these were coming in every box. Maybe there's a different pin. We'll get we'll get to the spool sheet. We'll see. What else we have? That goes to this. Uh, virtual reality apps. Just an ad. Ad for virtual reality apps. No big deal there. Ooh. Our first thing. Oh, okay. Cardboard VR board. glasses. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. So if you have a phone that uh, supports the uh, oh. VR or VR uh, apps. Uh, really strong Velcro. <laughs> got any instructions on it? Or how to yeah, it's got some instructions right here. There's how to put your book. device in it. and. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it has a little uh, strap inside for it. Oh, sweet. So how you strap it onto yourself. Huh. So that's neat. Yeah, it opens up there so you can put your device in. I guess once you get it all in together, well, I'm pretty strong you, Velcro. I'm not sure. I'll have to see the instructions exactly how to, how to use it. Yeah, once you get it all in together, I guess you would strap it onto your face with the lenses there. And like that. Yeah. Yep. And uh, you have a little VR experience. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I've seen a lot of things going toward VR. I haven't really experienced a lot of it myself. Well, that's pretty cool. We finally got yeah. something close to VR. Yep. So now we both get a chance to kind of play around with that. Yeah, yeah, we have some filler paper. Or is it I think there might be something else. Maybe. No. No, there's not. <laughs> there. Right. Hey, we got paper. All right. Let's get back to the side there. Let the cats play. All right. Oh, it's like a little jewelry box almost next up. Oh. Ooh, oh, it's a black ring with the Lord of the Rings ring. Oh, that is freaking 
freaking neat. Oh, this is awesome. All right. I'm going to pull this out. Well, it's the black. one true ring. Yes, it's black on black. So I have to pull it out just to be able to see it. Well, it's, it it's more gray on black, but still. Well, as far as the case it was in. Uh, we have a ring there. I'm hoping that focuses up real well. Kind of give it to the side. You can see the writing that appears on the inside and on the out. This is the one true ring. This is a black version. Uh, well, you probably cool. get the exact uh, name of off, off the spoiler card when we get to it. But that is freaking awesome. We do have a regular Lord of the Rings ring. So that'll be another thing to add to the collection. Warning. The substance contained within this container was obtained fr uh, from a classified archaeological site and is deemed top secret. Exposure to human DNA combined with a magnetic field may result in activation of telekinetic and other powers. Uh oh, so we got some stuff that's supposed to activate our inhuman powers. Yeah. I'm gonna pop it open there and see what happens. You turn into Spider Man. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's very magnetic. <laughs> yeah, look. Oh, well, somewhat magnetic. Somewhat, yeah. I'm gonna pull it out there because we can't uh, I'll let you do that. Uh, Here's the, the lid that he pulled off uh, there. It's the label he was just reading. Oh, it's got a really strong magnet on it. Oh, see so what is it we got here? Uh, it's some sort of gel and a really strong magnet. Wait, hold on. Does the gel let us manipulate? Oh, wait, does the magnet oh, let us manipulate the gel? Maybe. Possibly. I'm not sure exactly. How well, I, I guess if we really want to know what it is, we can either fool around with it for a while or look at the cheat sheet. <laughs> All right. So yeah, there's a just a packet, and I want to open this up right this second because I don't I'm not sure exactly what to do here. It's a kind of a a gel of material, or uh, almost like Play-Doh. Yeah. And a nice magnet. That's sticking to your yeah. ring. Yeah, it's sticking to everything metal. So it sticks to this, so apparently whatever is inside here contains some, some sort of metal. Some quantity of metal. Yeah. So that's what Duskyla was saying. Maybe we take this out and use this to manipulate the uh, stuff. But we'll have to see. Maybe so we can sure make soldiers with it. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. That would be kind of cool. Okay, we have an art print next. I can actually get it out. Well, uh, well actually two art prints. Wolverine art print. And All right, so this was a signed item. This is the first signed item in the box. And I am terrible, terrible with signatures. It's a BAM, uh, so it's made for BAM box. 773 out of 1999. And it does come with a certificate of authenticity. It's right there in the back. So there's a limited run of these. So we know we've got one out of just under 2,000. And a demonic looking flash. Zoom. Oh, it's Zoom? Yeah. I've don't, never... You don't watch the show. That's okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, this is Zoom from Flash. If you guys, anybody out there that watches the show, you'll recognize him. And this one is signed as well. And I'm not really sure. It's a 20th. Right? 20th anniversary or something. I'm not sure. Hmm. Uh, and I'm not even going to attempt to say it's like Tony Todd or something. I believe that is the signature. <laughs> That sounds terrible at reading, so I want to look at the spoiler card it in just a minute like to uh, get an exact name on that. But the certificate of authenticity is that as well. And then we have the cheat sheet, and that's it. All right. So I'm going to put the box up there. Yep, that's everything in the box. Now, this is different. Their box is a little different this time. You had it down your lap. Yeah. Kind of give them a quick little view. You opened it up, and our little one-up pin was right here on top. Uh, so I'm going to look here at the cheat sheet. We're going to go ahead and uh, just jump straight into this and do a recap. That's what we've got uh, going on. Oh, uh, it seems the ring we got, the black one, is actually the regular one. You get the you get a gold version for the one-up. Because there was one-up for the ring, for the one ring that we got. The, I honestly the black think one. the black one is cooler, though. And we could have gotten a one-up card on that and gotten the gold variant as well. That's a large ring. I'll give them yeah. that. That would fit my thumb. <laughs> it would probably but, fit mine, too. Yeah, so I know it's on a necklace, so that's kind of cool. But uh, sometimes I like to put the rings on. I kind of put this one on the other day. This was yeah. from Uncharted. Yeah, I believe it was the game. It was well, it's actually an actual person's ring, but it, yeah. the game for it was. Yeah, I thought it was really cool. I had to put it on. All right, so let's go with next up. We'll go with our goo stuff. Yeah, the magnetic might, magnetic thinking putty. Uh oh, uh, so you I think you were right. Oh yes. yeah, like magneto. Yep, you take it out and put it inside the little container. I think here. the magnet is what's keeping it shape. Oh, and manipulate it. All right, give us a second. We're gonna pop this out and we'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys, we put everything, we took uh, the black stuff out of the little plastic container here, and we just kind of shoved it back in the tin that it came in. And here's the magnet that was uh, attached to it on the outside of the plastic. Now, reading about this on the spoiler sheet, I'll stick that to the side for a second. Uh, this is the gel stuff in here, or putty type stuff here, actually contains, it doesn't contain metal, it contains magnets, mini magnets. So, 
and we've already done this once and it took us a minute to get this thing out <laughs> and we freaked out yeah so this is a really really cool reaction so here's the magnet and here's the stuff and just watch what happens when we set it right here into the center and hold it up there for us guy I, I can't I can't see it so I can't tell what's happening it's all right oh it's sinking in yeah so as, as you put it in there everything is it's starting to to attach itself and it actually pulls the larger magnet uh, solid magnet into the into the putty itself if you leave it for just a few moments, it'll actually completely cover it. So I thought that was really, really cool. And as you go to dig it out, it actually, it's kind of hard to do because if you dig it out, everything's wanting to stick back to it. Should I, should I try to get it out? Or yeah, you can go ahead and dig it out as I we'll move on to the next thing. All right. so that's actually a really cool thing. We didn't really have prices on any of this stuff, guys, this time, so I do apologize for that. At least um, it doesn't tear easy because it's holding itself together. Yeah. Yeah, if we are able to come up with any, we'll put them in the description below. So we're just going to move along yeah, while he's lost tearing that apart. Found and, it. Okay, the Enhanced Vision VR, cardboard VR uh, viewer. Uh, you know have your own superpower. Welcome to the world of Enhanced Vision. Ah. Yeah, so there's nothing else to it besides that. that it's just a cardboard VR viewer or virtual reality viewer. Well, I got uh, it out, but it's completely coated in it. <laughs> you can work on getting all that off. I'm all sure right. you can. Okay, now we do have the two signed prints. Uh, Bound box exclusive, the Wolverine art print. That's first. Oops. Uh, this is a Bound box exclusive art print, signed and numbered by artist Rick Martin. Oh. Uh, he created Media Graffiti Studio as an outlet where his interest in pop art, graffiti, rock and roll, photography, comic books, and movies are filtered through a prismatic funnel of bombastic zen to produce his Media Graffiti nice. style art. That is a really cool. Oh, I had sideways the whole time too. Sorry about that, guys. But uh, that's a really cool picture there of Wolverine. I really like that. So that was that one. That was a numbered one. It was 773 out of 1999. I'm making very, very slow progress. That's all right. And then I think this is our last item before our one-up pin is the print of Zoom there. And this is Tony Todd. So I did have that uh, that signature correct there. Uh, didn't, I hate to name those, but I'm not really sure. This is a signed photograph. Oh, oh I thought this was a print. This is a photograph. Nice. So it's the photograph from yeah, the other, the Zoom and CW is the Flash. Oh, okay. So that is really freaking awesome. This is wearing on my fingers. A sign there at the bottom. I like that. All right. And the last thing up was our one-up item. Uh, I'm going back and forth. Is that the wrong place? Why do I have to be such a perfectionist? <laughs> and, okay, yeah, they are introducing Bambox pins. So this is exciting new Bambox exclusive custom hat pins. So from now on, every box is going to have a pin of some sort in it. Wait, did you say uh, hat like pin? Hat pin, yep. Oh, so I can put it on my hat. Bloop. Yep. Nice. It sticks on your hat. Uh, you know, the management for collecting and trading. This month is a mashup between Charmander from Pokemon and the Amazing Spider-Man. Yep. So you had it right on the head there, uh, Skylar. Good yeah. job. Meet Spider-Mander. Yep. <laughs> nice. Two fandoms, one pin. I would have called it Spymander. Where is that card? Close enough. This card says one up. Congratulations, you have received a one up card. One of the items inside your bound box is replaced with an upgrade item. And so I guess the pen itself, we just got a gold variant of it. Okay, yeah. Right here on the card. So we, we got the gold variant when most people just got the uh, standard. So nice. one out of 250 on that one. All right, I think I got the majority of it all. <laughs> all right. So out of all this really cool stuff, and this is actually some really cool stuff that came in this box out. What's your favorite thing? Oh, oh sorry. Uh, this. <laughs> yeah, the, the Even funny. though it's very annoying, it's very fun. It's very fun. Yes, yeah. It took you a while to get it out there. I almost have to agree. I really like that. I love this box, man. I love these prints, and I'm such a Wolverine fan. I'll probably have to say the Wolverine print for me. Uh, do us a favor. Drop down there in the comments and let us know what your favorite item was. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, catch you all later.